Hi, I'm John Noser, and I'm here with Board Game Geek TV, and we're here as it's real 2012. Wow. And we all had a lot to drink so far, so... Well, I just did check pubs, so... <laughs> all right, oh, exactly, there it is. It's it's 10.30 in the morning, and we're blitzed, yes, so... That's exactly. Awesome. So this is Ted Alspach, and we're going to be doing Mutant Meeples by, uh, from Bezier Games. That's right. So take us through. Okay, so Mutant Meeples is a pathfinding game. Okay. The object of the game is to get six of the eight Mutant Meeples out here onto your super team. Okay. Um, you start with eight of them. They all have various superpowers, and all of them have super speed. Okay. Um, if you've ever played Ricochet Robots, there's a similar mechanism in terms of how they move. Okay. And they slide around the board. They slide around the board. Uh, what will happen to start with is we'll um, turn over two of these, so J and L. Okay. That'll determine where the scene of the crime is. So it's right there. Looks like it's really close to a bunch of them. They've got to be able to get there easily. Hopefully. However, the way they move is they move until they hit something, and then they stop. Uh, so it doesn't really help. This guy's like, ah, I can't get there. There's a wall here, so he can't get through there. Somehow, we've got to get the meeples there. So they can work together, which is the best thing about a super team, is having the meeples work together in order to get to a different location. Um, so what what uh, each of us is going to try to do right now okay. is figure out how we can use these to get there. Now, in addition to their uh, sliding ability, the super speed ability, okay. they each have a superpower. Um, I came to this demo incredibly unprepared because Doug just dragged me away from the booth two minutes ago. Okay, sounds good. So this good. is a brand new punch copy, and I have not stickered the meeples yet, but they actually have these little symbols oh, okay. on here, and they look like the ones that are actually on the box. Sounds good. That, I don't that have time enough. to do that. That's fine. We'll so. forgive you this time. Thank you. No problem. Um, so uh, each of them has a superpower. It's listed. We have a little cheat sheet here that shows what they do. So for instance, this is Farish Jump. He can jump over two spaces. Okay. Uh, this is a sidestep. He can move one space horizontally or vertically. Okay. In addition to super speed. That's okay. what I'll have. Uh, and so how, I've got to look right now and try and figure out how I can get these guys to work together um, to get to the end here. So it's going to take me just a second because, again, this is all very fast. Well, to do well this. this is a German copy, so all my superpowers are in German, so I'm not going to be able to help you out. It's not a German copy. Actually, it's German on one side, English on the ah, other. Ah, I put it on the wrong so side, people. You can just do this. And flip it over. Ah, oh, there we go. There go. <laughs> so, um, what I would do here, you know what? Actually, I can do this really, really quick. Uh, this one right here is Carbon. Okay. Carbon uses the power of any of the other meeples that are yet to be on your super team. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know what? Carbon will take one space to move, and then Farish Jump will also take one space to move. Once I've set this up, basically shown my work on how I can do this, I take the total number of moves from the pile, and I turn over the timer. Now you can try and beat this time, or possibly, in case it's really low, come up with another alternative method that's maybe close. So, two moves. I've said two, we turned the timers out, actually. It was good. good yeah, I, that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> two, better than two is... So, Carbon can use anyone else's power. Okay. He's going to use Farish Jump's power to jump over two spaces. Then, Farish Jump doesn't have to use a power at all. He can just use a super speed to go right there. So he's done in two. The one that gets there goes on my super team, so I flip him over. I got a little check mark there. Okay. Now I can't use green the rest of the game. You can, but okay. I can't. Oh, so that's a, a little bit of a, a catch-up mechanic where it's exactly. it harder for the people are The closer who are you are, the less meeples you have to work with. So okay. even if you're really good at space uh, pathfinding games like Ricochet Robots, um, it's still tough work to actually win because you're going to have a lot less to work with than people who maybe haven't done it as much as okay. you. Okay. So it actually evens the playing field quite a bit. As now, what if I could have done it in two moves? I still have to do it in less mo moves than you. You could go ahead and take the three. If you could take a number that's higher that's available, and okay. if I was wrong, then you would get to, sh to show. Okay. And as long as you can do it in less than whatever number you took, you're fine. Okay. So the number you take is always like, I can do it in at least as moves, and you've shown your work on here. Okay. Then you're good. Yeah. So I can still use uh, Carbon. I put this back. We take these off, flip over another two. But Carbon's power, you can't use Green's power for Carbon anymore. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Because on my super team, I can no longer use uh, the forest jump capability that he has. So, so you're actually... H. Um, this now, one, do they reset, or is that where they, they start? That's where they stay until oh, uh, the, next, okay. the next one. So... Um, do you want me to do it, or do you want to try and see how fast you can do it? Because nothing more exciting on live streaming is us staring and not talking. <laughs> right. Probably, I, I think you should just do I'll one do more, three. and that's, that's good. All by himself, I can use Scute in three. 
Well, people who are watching this might be able, they might be thinking that they could do it. Actually, now yeah. I found one that's faster than that. They don't know the powers. Show us, just show us, because, okay. yeah. So, I was going to say scoot in three. Um, it's pretty easy for, for me to do that. I can go... Uh, Move one space diagonally. One. Actually, that's four there, let's see. I, ha I had a way, oh. Now I've lost it because we were talking. You know He's what? not as good as you think. <laughs> What He's I did all see, hot air. See, I got all flustered because I saw I could do it with blue and two. Blue teleports, oh, yeah, teleports to one of these to spaces, places, and, and then, then he slides forward. right over. So that would have been right. If I couldn't have done it this way, and you said blue and two, well, you, of course, would have gotten it instead. Well, there you go. So so um, this is how many people? This plays up to seven people. Boy. Yeah. Um, don't have many of those seven-player games. You don't. You know, and that's a, you could actually play it by yourself just to see it, you know, okay. to practice and, and move things around. But it is it is a race game, and it's... Again, it has that neat catch-up mechanism where it's more and more difficult as the more meeples that add to your, uh, to your and team. And how, how long? Um, it takes about 30 minutes. Even with seven players? It, it goes really, really fast. You, okay. You'll see all the different people. The more people you have, someone's going to find a solution sooner. Cool. Yeah. Another quick seven-player game. Gotta love it. Yeah. Not many of those out there. You know, Kalamambo and Mutant Meeples, I think, are the only yeah. two I can think of off the top of my head. Diplomacy sometimes runs longer than 30 minutes. <laughs> sometimes. You can win Kalamambo just by playing Yeah, with the, the rhino. I'm a skilled Kalamambo player. Yes. So, yeah. I come in first or second all the time in Kalamambo. So. Well, thank you very much for showing us Mutant Meeples. Thank you.